have Ms. Susan Prince. She is the steering committee chairperson for SPA 7. Ms. Prince, talk to us about SPA 7. I'll try and make it quick. Um, first of all, I want to say commend each of you for running for public office because I think that um, I think it's a big step, and I respect each and every one of you because I think um, I love this community and I want to see it better. Um, I'm a huge advocate of public education, so for those of you running for board of education, thank you for what you do. How fortunate we are to live in a country that is free and that we as voters have a say so in decisions that are made. I'm so thankful um, to be an American, and I'm thankful to call Valdosta, Georgia, and Lowndes County my home. Um, I've lived here for about 10 years. I grew up in Marion County, which is Nashville, Georgia, not far. Um, Valdosta was always town for me. We would come to Valdosta at least, you know, a couple of times a week. This is where we shopped. This is where we received health care. So we were in and out of Valdosta all the time. Um, so it was very natural for this to become home for me. But once I knew that I was going to raise a family here 10 years ago, I dug in head first and became involved and um, started volunteering in many different areas in the community with children, um, adults, you name it, many different nonprofits. So I immediately felt ownership. I believed um, I want to make Valdosta and Lyons County the best it can be. Some of you alluded to the fact that you want your grandchildren to grow up here. Well, I have a seven-year-old daughter. I want to make Valdosta the best that it possibly can be, and that means providing a quality of life. And I think, you know, education is a big topic and dropout. I think that we have to provide things for our children. We have to we have to build a community that they're proud of, give them positive things to do. Um, and I think that SPLOST has allowed us to do that since 1987. Um, it's a 1% sales tax that um, hasn't gone away yet. We're still collecting for the SPLOST 6. So it will be, if passed, it will roll right over into SPLOST 7 come January. So the year sales tax in Lowndes County will remain at 7%. We have $150 million worth of projects on this referendum. Um, Mr. Tooley mentioned a sidewalk that runs from um, Forest Street to J.L. Newburn and that the DOT had given money. Actually, the DOT had put forth $250 million. It's a, I mean, $250,000. It is a $500,000 project. So that project is actually on this Block 7 referendum for the city to collect the other $250,000 so that that project can be funded. To me, that is one of the most important um, projects on the list because I travel Park Avenue when I'm going to work whenever I go to Lakeland, Georgia. I travel that way, and there are areas on that state highway that people drive 55 miles an hour, and I see kids walking in the grass. So that is important. Um, the wastewater treatment facility plant was mentioned. It's a 55 million dollar project, folks. It's going to have to be funded one way or the other. And the beauty is that we, as voters, have the opportunity to decide what is the most economical way to fund that project. There are also water and sewage needs in the county. There are road streets and bridges that need to be repaired, paved, fixed. Um, we have seven bridges in the county that need immediate attention, three of which school buses are um, in danger of being rerouted. So with that being said, we have to decide what is the best way to fund those projects. I believe that sharing this tax, um, at least 50% of it with people who don't even live in Lowndes County is the best way to do it. So that I ask that you do your homework, research the past projects, look at the projects on this list, and make an informed decision and exercise your right to vote on November 5th. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Prince.